How's it going guys? I'm Paradise and we have another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video for you guys. This is going to be your guide for how to get Thor's legendary hammer, Mjolnir, and this is another special weapon that you can only get by completing several different tasks to gain Thor's armor to then be worthy enough to pick up and wield Thor's hammer. This is an end game legendary weapon and later on in the video I will give a spoiler warning before I show you guys anything that might spoil things to do with the order and the story. So later on in the video, do take note if you care about spoilers. So Thor's armor itself is visually pretty cool, but it also has a set bonus of increased speed when stunning enemies and an additional increase to your stun. Again, you will need the full set before you can get the hammer. And the hammer itself has a really nice visual lightning effect. And it also has a unique perk, much like Excalibur. The perk on this one is a chance to deal stun damage to all enemies around you on every hit. And much like Excalibur, this has a visual effect. This time it's a big lightning explosion when it triggers and if you haven't already got Excalibur make sure to check out our guide on how you get that one because you can actually dual wield Excalibur with Thor's hammer. So to gain Thor's armor you are going to have to kill three different witches. Each one will drop a piece of his armor as well as a unique dagger and you will need all of the daggers from the three different witches as well. So first in East Anglia, near the northeastern shore, you will find the first witch. She is a boss like they all are and has unique fire attacks and killing her will also give you a piece of Thor's armor and the first dagger. Then you want to head over to the west side of East Anglia in Burke Bog and you will find the second witch, another boss with unique lightning sort of themed attacks and killing her will give you another piece as well as the second dagger. Then finally, you want to head over to Grantabridgeshire at the northeasternmost island in Spalder Fens. She has a lot of teleporting moves with these green smoke effects, although I don't think it's poison because I didn't get poisoned in the fight. And once you've killed her, you'll get another piece as well as the final dagger. Then once you have all three daggers, head back to the eastern side of East Anglia in this small crypt, you can see it on the map, run to the end and insert the daggers into the statue, which will then reveal a final room with a chest that will give you another piece of Thor's armor. So now you will have all but one piece of Thor's armor. And this is your official spoiler warning now, guys. As for this next step, you will need to be at the end game. So if you do not want anything from the order spoiled, then this is your time to come back after you have finished the game. So with the spoiler warning out of the way, let's continue. To gain the final piece of Thor's armor, you must kill every target in the order menu. You want to follow the clues for each person, as well as check out each province to find all of the zealots. These guys roam around the roads, often on horses, and they don't stay in the exact same spot for everyone, they roam around. So you will need to hunt down each zealot and each target on the order menu. Once you've done everything on the order menu, you will get another quest for the final target, the person at the very bottom. Once you've then done that quest, you will have all of the order medallions. You hand these in in your settlement and you will get the final piece of Thor's armor. Once you have all of Thor's armor, make sure you equipped it, and then it is just a matter of finding the hammer. You want to head over to Norway in this area that we're showing now. Once you get there, run up the mountain, it's kind of a slightly linear path, and you will find Thor's hammer amongst some rocks near the top. Then, with the armor equipped, you can pick it up and the hammer is finally yours. I definitely think this is one of the coolest weapons in the game, both visually and in terms of how fun it is to use on enemies, especially when dual wielding it with Excalibur. I do hope this guide, this video helped you guys out. I hope you all get Thor's hammer, it's so fun and cool to use. Let me know down in the comments below if you are going for it. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you 
next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.